Why did you come to Georgia? What are you doing in this country? How long have you been here? I have many things in common with Georgia. There's something in Georgian culture, which is very close to me. I adore Georgian dances. I dance Georgian dances myself. I was attracted to all these things for a long time. But this is only the first part of history. I was feeling this way at the beginning of this century. But later, after the war in 2008, I figured out that Russia is a criminal country until it's ruled by this government. And I don't want to support it in any way. I didn't manage to move from there at once, but I would not take any job in Russia that would pay taxes to this government. It was my position. Then slowly and slowly I moved to Georgia. It was a long and hard process. Are you going to do anything special here? I already do. What are you doing? I have a business of buying and selling cars. Actually, at first I met a car service, which was unprofitable. But then we found a way to make it profitable and start buying and selling cars. How did Forsage work? Was it a, a financial pyramid? Of course not. Moreover, it is the anti-pyramid, and I can explain it. First of all, these kinds of projects were not screwed up before. In this case, I have a feeling that they screwed up for success. I thought that competent people worked there. I'm a supporter of a decentralized approach. It is the same as libertarian views. I follow libertarian views, but there's the opposite side, a statist, centralized approach that needs someone at the top who needs to control everything, roughly speaking. In terms of this, I was always their opponent, but I believe that those who work there are very competent people, and if they screw up someone, they have a full base for that. In our case, it didn't appear to be right. Other cases I didn't study, but I started to ask myself a question. Is there the same situation with others too? Maybe there is. The screwing up, Binance, Ripple, they have something on Elon Musk and everyone who succeeded. After us, there were a number of copies of us, millions, because we made a Ferrari. What is a financial pyramid? And let's start with that. Our dialogue does not make sense if we do not explain it. A financial pyramid is an investment project in which the previous person gets a profit at the expense of every next person. For example, you join the project and invest some money. This project has to give you back more money, right? But how? Someone else will also come into the project, invest, and at his expense, you are paid. And how is he paid? At the expense of someone who will join the project next. This is a scam because the scheme does not work. It's a lie. This kind of project will be ruined. What I describe now is a Ponzi scheme financial pyramid. There are also some other kinds of financial pyramids, but one thing they have in common is that it's a lie. It doesn't have to do anything with Forsage. Forsage has already worked for two years and a half, and its scheme can work forever. The only reason I think it won't work long is that, in my opinion, it will be fallen down by competitors. It can happen to any business. Forsage is not able to offer anything at the next stage. So everyone knows that I broke up with my former partners at the beginning of this year. How did you get on the blacklist? What happened? What was the problem? Actually, we are now trying to figure it out. 
SSC filed a claim. We started the claim very carefully, without maybe we left something out, but it doesn't have a foundation at all. For some reason, they call our participants the investors, which is wrong, as this is not an investment project. Also, they think there was some money that went up to the top people, and they describe it as a Ponzi scheme. This is not true. There are also mentioned secondary features. That is, using network marketing. As the majority of financial pyramids use network marketing, some people think we were also a financial pyramid. It's understandable that common people do not know the subject, but how SEC could make this claim, I do not get. If there's a claim, there should be a victim. And who is a victim? They say we have deceived some people. Here's my question. Into what did we deceive? We have an open marketing plan and an open smart contract code. Everyone can check it out, even an audit conducted. I would like to ask SEC, do they understand at all how blockchain works? We appear to be the authors of the smart contract. I don't understand what they want to achieve. It seems they want to control everything, but they can't do this. They do not have leverage. This is how blockchain works. They have to claim blockchain then. They can't take control. Why did people get harmed then? And how many victims are there? Who got harmed? I do not know. Show me people who got harmed. I do not know. They saw there were victims. Give me the IDs of those people and we will check. They can't name even one person. They can't give us the ID of one victim. We would check. There is nothing like that in the claim. Who are the victims? Victims are those for whom conditions are not met. Everyone who has a connection with Forsage is meant to be a participant, including us, authors of the smart contract. There were four of us at the beginning, our partners. One of us was laying out the contract on the internet. Other issues, financial among them, were worked out together. So what we did was make a contract and put it on blockchain. That's all. It was an open code and we could not do anything more. This is how blockchain works. It has an algorithm that can be changed. And it works perfectly. It can have victims. The website is the only thing that is centralized, but it doesn't collect money. It only helps to connect with a smart contract. But a smart contract can work without this website, so anyone can create a website and connect this way. It requires some technical knowledge, but still. So it does not depend on the website. First of all, it's a smart contract. How can it have victims? Show me them. There are no victims because the smart contract works perfectly well. I mentioned that we are also participants like everyone else. We, the partners, had ID1, the first of all IDs, it has possibilities, like every leader who's made a powerful business, that is, worked a lot and made a good profit. So there is no such thing as money that's going up to the top people. 
Money can go in any direction. There doesn't exist such an amount of money as they talk about. I've heard about 300 million or something. Yes, right. But once you study the smart contract, you understand that it's not true, that the income belongs to all participants who get more than me and my partners. This is anti-pyramid. Did Georgians, how to put it, play in forsage? You mean participate? Yes. I have not heard about super active Georgian participants, but there were people from all over the world, a few Georgians among them. Currently, I develop an absolutely different project, what I wanted to do in Forsage. I do it in a new project, and there is a Georgian team in it. How do you think, will they arrest you? I don't understand why should I be arrested. I can be under arrest only if there is arbitrariness and lawlessness, because the truth is on my side. I can prove it. There is no law that I've broken. Understand that the law of the USA is complicated, as it differs across the states, but we don't have a relation to the USA jurisdiction. So I'm not troubled because of this situation, though they already have some questions for me in the bank, there's a checkup in the firm, etc. As soon as it happened, there came some people from tax service and even from SEC. I'm still very calm because I have done nothing wrong. My principle of being honest is much more successful in the long term. If you are able to make some fraud scheme and deceive people, you better use your abilities and your talent to make the same in a legal way. And when something like this happens, you're confident in yourself, confident in your victory. It is much easier when you answer questions and you don't have to think of the way out. You just have to think of the events as they happen and tell. From the beginning, I wanted to develop Forsage, but I didn't have the keys. One of my partners did, and my partners did not want to get into this, because it was difficult. Definitely not the easiest scheme. I understood everything from the beginning. I publicly spoke in 2020 that I wanted to develop the whole crypto ecosystem. At that time, I understood that, despite we didn't violate any laws, the title of it, No Product in Forsage, would not be well accepted. People judge by titles. I could explain why this is the wrong title, but who would listen? The majority judge by title. This is why I didn't want it to be the title like that. But I could not agree with it with my partners. In the spring of 2021, when I heard that some official from Montana spoke against us, although he said the same thing that the Philippines SEC declared in 2020, I talked to my partners. I suggested doing something with that to change the situation. However, I didn't find the common ground with them, and in 2021 I was in silence. I mean, almost didn't make public speeches. I still had to support the community. They believed in me, and I didn't know what to do. I could not just leave them. For me, it would be perfect to leave and lose connection with everyone. But this community trusted me, so I made some speeches. 
and very rarely. My partners thought that I'd lost influence and they could get rid of me. So they blocked me at the beginning of this year. They launched the financial pyramid, which I was against even from the beginning. So I didn't have any choice. I had a dilemma before, stay in Forsage or not, because Forsage was not ready for what I wanted to do. After the split, and after I was blocked by them, this question was solved by itself. Therefore, I was focused on metaphors from 2022. Actually, I was preparing it from 2021. Metaphors represents the whole ecosystem. The partner program, which was the base of Forsage, is taken to perfection in metaphors. And what's important, it is the driver of the system. There is something behind it, and that's essential. There are people who will come to earn money through our marketing, and there are people who will be interested not in our marketing, but in our products. We've got Metaverse, we've got different NFTs, we can talk about NFT a lot. Many people already know about it. It's a special token. Nowadays, you can tokenize everything. That's why NFT exists. We also have our social network. We have physical products as well, metaphors, is the whole universe, which is not easy to create. But development is in progress. This is what I wanted Forsage to come to. This is not something raised in an empty place. SEC was not interested in other projects with the same profile. But there are so many. They existed before and after Forsage. Not after, since Forsage still works. The most important is that there are a lot of frauds on the internet. There's a gigantic amount of scam. SEC is not interested in them, because it's hard to catch them. That is where the money goes up. They appear and disappear. Top people make millions and move to other projects. SEC does not try to block them. In difference from them, we make real steps in this direction. We create an anti-pyramid and we explain. Many people are thankful for finally letting them understand the truth and for not being victims of the internet anymore. There are lots of frauds and they must be stopped. But who will do that? Definitely not SEC and not Russian Roskomnadzor. Thank you. Thank you.